Big Brother, mainstream media, government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Uh, now, uh, let's uh, go back to Jim Mars with his uh, book put out by a major publisher. Jim, before you finish up, that was quite a victory to get a major publisher to put this out. Well, yeah, that's true. And uh, there were some uh, tense moments <laughs> during the editing process, and I'm not sure exactly how all that got overcome other than uh, that. W that's one of the keys to this corporate control, you know, the definition of fascism is the blending of state and corporate power and uh, the, the the only difference we have today is that in Ger pre-war germany the state gained control over the corporations and in modern america today the corporations have gained control over the state but the end result's the same it's this fusion of state and corporate power which is the very definition of fascism um, and th here's what's interesting uh... Alex, I know that everybody, almost everybody today, Republican, Democrat, liberal, conservative, everybody realizes that we're in trouble in this country and that we've taken a wrong turn somehow. And yet uh, nobody seems to know what to do about it because they're, as you well know, they're all fighting with each other and pointing their fingers at each other. And the liberals blame the conservatives and conservatives blame the liberals and the Democrats and the Republicans and the, and the gays and the heterosexuals and the Catholics and the Protestants and the Jews. and the, They just keep everybody fighting with each other. And uh, I think that what I would hope with my new book, The Rise of the Fourth Reich, is that we can all turn and point the finger at the international globalist who first financed communism and then financed Hitler and the Nazis and are now building a fourth empire or Reich in the United States. And they've written a bunch of textbooks admitting this. The Milner Group, uh, the head of the Georgetown uh, 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 Political Science, uh, Carol Quigley. I mean, we know what's going on. That's why there's so much confusion, because people can't think at that level for some reason. They've got to obsess. They can see the New World Order, and, and they think if you say it's multiple groups, you're giving comfort to one of the groups. No, it's like if five guys rob a bank, we're saying all five are equally co-guilty <laughs> In this and every major group, Israel, That's right. Germany, the China, the communists, the, you know, the communist Chinese, it's all New World Order, and they meet in these global crime syndicate meetings. We've stolen their minutes, we've snuck in their meetings, and we've got to come together against global centralized power. That cuts off the drive shaft of their system. Go ahead. Absolutely, and we need to to call them by their proper name. They, and it's interesting because they are the one group that is still politically correct and socially acceptable to vilify. They are Nazis. They are national socialists, and we need to identify them as such and band together and point the finger at the true culprits, the, the five bank robbers who are national socialists. They're Nazis. The Nazis are robbing the bank, and we need to make people aware of that. Wouldn't you agree, Alex? Absolutely. And, and see, they created communism because they needed a, 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 a evil system to chew up countries, grab things, fool the serfs to rebel against the old imperiums uh, so the British could take those over. Uh, but it doesn't work as well as fascism because fascism uses free market. It says every child you kidnap through color of law, CPS worker, you get two grand bonus personally. Well, they want to make a hundred grand a year, and most of them do. They go out and steal kids. Or, you know, cops, you want to share an asset forfeiture seizure for violating the Constitution, taking goods without any proof or any due process, you get money. Uh, oh, uh, you want to be mercenaries getting 180 grand a year to kill innocent people and commit crimes and do all of this and run death squads instead of 20 grand a year as, as some grunt? Uh, okay, we'll do it. And so th that is the fascist system. It is a piratical, booty-sharing, loot-sharing system. Absolutely. And that is the very system that they are trying to impose on the United States of America. And if uh, the American people don't wake up pretty soon and throw off the yoke of political party partisanship and start standing up for true freedom and, uh, and uh, uh, liberty, then, you know, we're going to all end up in the camps. <laughs> It, exactly. Our movement, and it's it, it's turned in on itself and so much COINTELPRO, while it's blasting forward, expanding, there's these pockets of festering infighting. 
Folks, it has to stop. I mean, we know they're taking our liberties, attacking our Bill of Rights. We know we can stand for that. We can stand against wars, against innocent nations. Uh, we all have to agree on that now and wake up as many people as you can instead of standing around pontificating about, you know, who's got it honed down the best. I'm telling you, I just cover the pure research. I go where the facts lead me. And what Jim Mars is saying is the absolute truth. It is what the evidence shows. It is history. And you try to explain to people that the Zionists worked for the Nazis and the Nazis worked for the British. And, I mean, you try to explain that they worked for the Rothschilds. People just can't figure that out. It's too bizarre. That These people are slick. We have their documents. We know. Get the book in better bookstores everywhere. The Rise of the Fourth Reich by Jim Mars, already multiple-time best-selling author, incredible researcher. It's available on InfoWars.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Get the Rise of the Fourth Reich. We have it in stock. It's sold out some places. Uh, again, make this book big. Order multiple copies. This cracks the code. This breaks down what I've been trying to tell you. People make fun of me. I say, doesn't matter if it's top Zionists, top uh, Catholics, Protestants. You know, just like you'll see Pat Robertson with uh, you know Al Sharpton saying global warming's real, pay a global tax. They're all together. You can read the Margaret Sanger stuff where they went and hired black leaders to you know to fool the blacks into following them. They are slick. Jim and I are risking our lives to do this and dedicating our lives. This is not a game. You better get serious and get your head screwed on because if you don't, folks, they're going to win and it's going to be bad. Jim Mars, I want to—you only scratch the surface of your book because I've read it. I want to oh, have you back on next week for two hours, Jim, to really because we only got in the first third of it. I want to get into what's happening in the modern times, the Bushes, all of it. Okay, Jim. Right. We need to get into the drugging of America, the uh, dissolution of our education system. The family, the Nazis did it all. Oh, yeah. And they're following the same game plan is what's so incredible. They're not even altering their tactics. They're doing the same thing they did in Germany, and, and it's working over here. In, in my wow. study of, of Hitler in the Third Reich, my biggest question was, how could those Germans who in the 1930s were among the most educated and cultured people in the world, how could they allow themselves to get sucked into Hitler and the Holocaust and everything else that happened? And uh, now I understand it because it's happening here. Exactly. And again, uh -huh. Germany with the Ph.D., the British with the social working system, the U.S., they all shared info. It is an amalgamation. And, uh, yeah, and, and look at our choice today. We're in an election year, and you can vote for Obama, Barack Obama, who is backed by Zygmunt Brzezinski and his son in the Trilateral Commission, or you can vote for McCain, who's backed by Henry Kissinger in the Council on Foreign Relations. And the Council on Foreign Relations, of course, was the progenitor of the Trilateral Commission. So you get to choose between Tweedledee or Tweedledum, and they're both controlled by the same folks. Yeah, you get to shoot yourself with uh, two different brands of 45 hollow point. Thank you so much, Jim. We'll talk to you next week. Sounds good. Bye-bye.